Hello and welcome back to the channel. Got a nice Starfield ship build for you today. And yes, I am still doing Starfield content. I'm just doing Ark Survival Ascended content as well because I love the building in that game and I've always loved Ark. So no, the Starfield videos are not stopping. Those worrying in the comments don't because there's still plenty of Starfield stuff coming your way on this channel. So don't worry, okay? Anyway, since the competition video, a lot of you have asked how to build orbits like cruiser ship. And you all wanted to build a tutorial video, well, here it is, so I'm going to show you how to build it. I absolutely love this ship, it's fantastic, and it absolutely shreds enemy ships. So get yourself subscribed, and don't forget to like the video and join my Discord. So here is the build list for this ship, and I'm building it on my outpost in Arcturus because with the outpost ship builder, you get access to a lot of ship parts, which is great. So let's get into the build. Right, so at the moment it just looks a lot of Lego all jumbled up because I've got all the pieces um, that you need for the build and we're going to put it together piece by piece. Now I'm building at my outpost so you've got access to most of the ship parts. If there are parts that you don't have access to, obviously just give it a quick Google where you get it from and you'll find out where it is. Now, what you want to start with is this shape, okay? So we've got a Stroud nose cap, we've got a 2x1 Deimos all-in-one berth, we got another 2x1 Deimos control station for more crew slots. We got a Deimos 3x1 living quarters. And then another uh, two 2x1s, two which is a workshop and a science lab. Now, this will give you everything you need for your ship. You know, your science lab, somewhere to get rested XP with your bed. And yeah, this will give you more crew slots. It's, it's all good. All good for your ship. Now, obviously, there are weapons attached. We'll go over the weapons later on. But this is the shape you want to build so far, okay? Just those five. No, it's six, isn't it? My bad. <laughs> Those six. Right, so underneath this shape, we're going to put two NG20 landing gear wide, like so, and then our fuel tank, and then a grav drive of your choice. Now, I'd use a thin one. You don't want one like protruding down and touching the floor. And then a landing bay of your choice. I've gone for the Hope 4 because it connects right up to the top here where we are. Going to put our cockpit. Lovely jubbly. Now there are drop down, uh, we are going to be doing the drop down glitch for this build and I'm going to show you how to do it. As you can see, like the stuff that's already merged in here, right? But what we'll do is we'll grab these, which are our Deimos spines and we're just going to plonk them like so, right there. So we've gone for the spine D, just flipped, a spine B and then the spine A. Now we're going to put our Nova Cowlings down and we're going to be doing the drop down glitch for both, okay? So what we're going to want to do first is grab a Deimos hull and we're going to get rid of this. So don't worry. So we duplicate that up. Now, if you need a further explanation on how the duplicate, I'm going to show you how to do it. But if you need a further explanation on how the duplication glitch or drop down glitch works, I do have a previous video on that, which should be in the top right corner of this video. So check that out. It's a lot more in depth. And yes, you can do this on console and stuff. OK, so it's not just available to PC players. So, right, with that done, what we're going to do here is, wrong way, delete that. My bad, I put three down, you don't need three. Right, so you've got your two Deimos holes here, right, and you've got your Nova Cowling. Now, if you try and move it down, it won't. However, if you duplicate it, ta-da, lovely jubbly. Then just get rid of the Deimos holes and plonk your other Nova Cowling there. And it's blended in lovely and that's what you do with these parts here you just duplicate it down like i said top right corner of the video it will explain how to do this a lot better right so now what we want to do is grab a uh, grab grab our nova cowlings and our deimos wing a's and we're going to put them just there we'll grab the other two so that's two nova cowlings and then a deimos wing a and they're going to go either side of the ship like so and then just underneath that, we'll grab our docker, and I've gone for the bottom docker, and then another NG20 wide landing gear, and they'll go there. All right, just to give the, the landing gear a bit of space between them, make it look a bit more realistic. Okay, so once again, we are going to grab a Deimos hole. If it goes red there, do not worry, okay? Put a hole there, put one here, put one there, put one here, duplicate it down. We can go all the way along. Uh, don't, right, this might have to go up. If, if it won't duplicate down, it will have to go up first. Then you do that. Okay, it, it does work. Grab your Stroud braking engine, both of them. And then just duplicate down. So you may have to go up top first. Oh, or sometimes it will go straight for the bottom. No drama. And then we can delete 
all of these Deimos holes. Lovely jubbly. That's blended in nicely now, isn't it? Cool. Right. Now we're going to grab our cargo and our Stroud caps. Now I've got the shield, which is the Assurance 18G on this Stroud cap. Because again, we're going to be doing the drop down glitch. So if we grab these three and slap them there. And we'll do the same this side. Nothing, nothing on these. Okay, so put them there. Now this part will go straight onto the cargo, which is our Stroud cowling. And same for this part. Our Stroud cowling will go straight onto the cargo there. Now this... Stroud cap will clip on. Obviously, this one's not going to because we've got the shield there, but I like hiding things like the shield, okay? So again, all we do... Oh, wrong way. Grab our Deimos hole. Plonk him up there. Put him there. And duplicate straight down. And now your shield's hidden and out of the way, and we've got a shield. It looks nice. Okay, so the next part. Grab your spine A and spine E. They're going either side of the cockpit here lovely jubbly so that's that bit done now over here again we've got weapons on these i'll exp i'll talk about them shortly but it's just a nova cowling the second variant so the small part and then the flipped version there okay so grab these three and they're just gonna plonk in right there. oh that's way 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 that's too far forward too far back even there we go put that too far back and then this side again join it up and then it'll look like that lovely jubbly okay now we're gonna add our two supernova engines our two nova 1050 engines and then our sf sheared flow reactor right there now normally i would drop down glitch this into something to hide it because it's very exposed here but there wasn't anywhere good to put it that wouldn't look silly um because of the shape of this ship so we're not going to do it, okay? Um, we're just going to leave it out like that and we're just going to, you know, hope that we're not silly enough to get it shot at in combat. But that is the ship. Nice and easy build. If you, if, you know, followed what I've done, nice and easy. Obviously, just go back and watch it, pause it at parts. But yeah, nice and easy build. Now all we've got to do is colour it. But before we do that, and I am going to show you an interior tour as well as a, uh, you know, some combat footage against Crimson Fleet. But... The stats are really good, you know, 1600 shield, decent hull, it's nominal, decent cargo. You can put more cargo on, but you are going to lose a bit of mobility. I find 81 mobility is absolutely fine. Max crew of 9 is great, but I mean, you start adding more cargo. So, you know, just for example, let's just say we're going to add another cargo like that. It's going to drop to 65, but you're going to have 5k. So yeah, if you want to add more cargo to this ship, like you are going to suffer mobility. But I think that's a respectable number, you know, 3,300. That's, that's more than enough. And if, if you're going for like a cargo ship, you know, this is like a light cruiser. If you're going for a cargo ship, you'd build one accordingly, wouldn't you? Um, but yeah, no, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant ship. So up top here, we've got two Reza Pulse Laser turrets. They're auto turrets. Underneath, we've got three Obliterators. Just there, there, and there. And then we got my favourite weapon, the PBO 300 Auto Alpha turrets. We've got two front facing, two rear facing, so that when we're in combat, if we're you know overshooting enemies and you know blitzing past them, these two will take care of the chaff or finish up what we what we haven't done at the front end. Brilliant ship though. So I'm going to colour it now, and then I think we should take it for a spin against the Crimson Fleet. So be right back. And there we go. We gave it a quick colour of white and dark grey. Now, let's go and have a little interior tour and take it for a spin, eh? Right, let's go and have a look in this bad boy. So I'm just on my outpost in Arcturus. Yeah, it's a nice place. It's okay. It was going to be a battle arena, what I've built over there. Do you want to have a quick look? Shall I show you quick? There we go. Yeah, it's, it was going to be a battle arena for future videos, so more to come with that. <laughs> okay, right, let's go inside anyways. So this will take us straight into the living quarters when we board it. Let's have a little nosy. So, yep, yeah, this is the living quarters. Straight up into the cockpit. Ooh, ladder. People hate ladders. Oh, no. Can't have that. Anyways, you got your bed for your XP bonus. Then we got two doors. Uh, well, one door either side of this uh, this hab. So, this one will be our workshop. Yeah, no, this is our science lab. Sorry, this is the science lab. It's a workshop and a science lab. So, you know, you've got everything you need for craft in there. And then this one should be the workshop. 
yeah, this is the workshop. I just got it mixed round. So yeah, workshop and science lab either side of this uh, three by one. I'm surprised the bed was no, no, it can't be because of the, that. Okay, I was gonna say I'm surprised the bed isn't down there and the door there, but you know you can't pick and choose. So come through here, and this is our control station. This is what gives us more crew. So we can have a max of nine. You can up up it if you want to add uh, more control stations. Basically, let's go through here. There's our docker right there, and this is just an all-in-one berth. Again, you've got beds here, so if you didn't want the living quarters and you wanted something else, by all means do it. This all-in-one berth will cover you with a bed. So let's uh, climb that disgusting ladder, eh? I know, I know how a lot of you do not like ladders, but you know, easy way up. Let's climb up like that, and this is the cockpit. Lovely jubbly. Oh, that's such a nice view. That's a beautiful view. I love the colour of this planet. Right, I think we should just go to the key in the uh, in the Crick system and uh, kill some Crimson Fleet. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments what you thought. Let me know about the build and what you'd like to see next. And before anyone asks, yes, I am still doing Starfield content. I'm just doing Ark Survival Ascended content as well. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing a mix of both. Don't forget to subscribe and join my Discord as well. And I'll see you on the next video. Enjoy this combat footage. Bye-bye. Thank you.